Hi, good afternoon. My name is uh, Jordana Fine. I'm with the Retina Group of Washington, uh, located uh, primarily in Fairfax, Virginia. So um, a Flibercept 8 milligrams is a novel formulation that delivers about a fourfold higher molar concentration of a Flibercept compared to of, of a Flibercept that we're used to in standard dose 2 milligrams. Um, historically, uh, trials such as the SAVE trial with ranibizumab, uh, the VIEW trial with the Flibercept, um, and the HAWK trial with brosilizumab have shown uh, positive uh, outcomes with respect to drying uh, when using higher molar concentration of anti-VEGF agents. So this data suggests that higher molar dose of anti-VEGF uh, might provide additional benefit and extended duration of action. And the learnings from these trials really supported uh, you know, the clinical trial design to see if a high dose of Flibercept, eight milligrams, could potentially provide uh, improved visual and anatomic outcomes with extended dosing intervals compared to the two milligram of Flibercept dose. Um, and so to date, a Flibercept has been evaluated in the phase two Candela trial, as well as the ongoing phase three uh, Pulsar and phase two, three uh, Photon trial, which is in DME. Since uh, high dose of Flibercept 8 milligrams is a novel uh, formulation, the phase two trial was really conducted to look at the safety um, and efficacy of the high dose of Flibercept compared to the standard two milligram dose in patients with treatment naive wet AMD. So the safety was, was the primary endpoint uh, and showed that the high dose eight milligram of Flibercept had a similar safety profile to the two milligram dose uh, with no new safety signals identified um, in the trial. Uh, the, another endpoint uh, was, was looking at the percentage of patients uh, with uh, drying on OCT. So at week 16, 51% uh, of the eyes treated with the aflibercept eight milligrams were without retinal fluid in the central subfoveal um, field compared to 34% of the patients in the aflibercept uh, two milligram arm. And then um, there was a post hoc analysis, which was done uh, basically to further evaluate the effects of the high dose of flibercept on these anatomic and visual outcomes. So uh, we talked about week, week 16 as the primary endpoint, but also looking out to uh, week 44, which was a secondary endpoint, and with looking at the proportion of eyes without intraretinal fluid, subretinal fluid, or sub-RPE fluid in the central subfield uh, was assessed. And so essentially a higher proportion of patients uh, in the high dose of Flibercept 8 milligram arm had absence of intraretinal subretinal fluid or sub RPE fluid in this uh, central subfield thickness at every single uh, visit week, starting at week 16 out through week uh, 44. Um, and then these uh, were also further classified or quantified uh, in terms of the proportion of eyes uh, by quartiles. So essentially, like the patients who had the highest amount of drying compared to uh, the lowest amount of drying. And so what we saw was that uh, more eyes treated with the high dose of Flibercept were in the quartiles of greater uh, CST reduction and greater best corrected visual acuity uh, from baseline to week 44. And that this, this was not driven by any baseline uh, in uh, baseline imbalances uh, between the two uh, groups. Uh, so this also corresponded to the patients who had uh, improvements in best corrected visual acuity. So we saw that the proportion of eyes that achieved best corrected visual acuity of greater than 2040 um, or greater than 2020 at week 44 uh, was, it was uh, clinically higher in the eight milligram group uh, compared to uh, the the standard two milligram dose. You know, this is another kind of uh, piece of information uh, that does suggest that, you know, higher molar concentrations of anti-VEGF um, may have uh, improved uh, drying effect and that that um, may lead to uh, improved uh, visual outcomes. Um, so essentially, you know, the thought 
the takeaway from this is that the eight milligram arm may provide greater therapeutic benefit with improved clinical outcomes uh, while reducing injection and treatment burden for patients. Um, the positive results from the Candela trial and then the post hoc analysis that we discussed at ARVO are consistent with the 48 week results uh, from the ongoing Pulsar and Photon uh, phase three clinical trials. Mm-hmm.